Hey guys, Noel Philly Scootaloo here. I got nothing else to do since. Scootaloo! Be quiet! You're supposed to be grounded! Shut up, Sandy! You can't tell me what to do! Ugh! Well, you just sassed your way out of dinner, young lady! Sorry, guys. I've been kind of cranky since... Well, ever since this little guy showed up. So, since I'm bored, you guys got any questions I can answer? Hello, perfectly normal representation of Scootaloo who happens to be pregnant. I'm a perfectly normal representation of Rainbow Dash who happens to be male. Do tell us, who's the father of your fool to be? How did you get pregnant? Dear God, who have you been fucking, Scootaloo? Wow, who is the father? Who's the father? Who the hey got you pregnant? This is probably the question that's getting asked a lot, but... Who's the father? Who's the father? Ugh, I should have known you'd all ask that. Fine, his name is Raincatcher. He's a year older than me and in Shirley's advanced class. He told me, if I really wanted to be cool enough for Dash, that all I had to do was what he said. I didn't believe him at first, but when he explained, I realized I'd seen Dash doing the same thing before. So, I believed him. A few months later, I found out he got me pregnant. I also got a full lecture on sex ed. Would it be nice to know ahead of time? Rain's parents came down hard on him at here, and Sandy practically blew a gasket. So there, now you know. Who's the Dash started following you? Hey, wait. Stallion? Rainbow Dash? Oh, come on! Why couldn't you have been the father? Who is Sandy? Who's Sandy? So, who is Sandy, exactly? How did you get in this mess? Also, out of curiosity, who's Sandy? Mom, stepmom, aunt? Okay, who is Sandy? Who's Sandy? Sandy? Oh, she's my foster mother. Don't see why I need one anyways. I'm more than able to take care of myself. Besides, I hate her. She's mean, grumpy, rude, not to mention she's pretty ugly. You just earned yourself a time out, young lady. Ow, 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 let go of my ear, let go of my ear. Next question everyone asks, when are you due? Okay, so I know I've already asked a question, but like, how long do you think it'll be before you have your little filly? When is your baby due? When are you due? How long have you been pregnant now? A few weeks, or has it been months? Already? In other words, when do you think your foal will come out? So, Scoots, when's the foal due? Is it a filly or a colt? So, how long until the foal is due? Are you nervous? Congrats, Scoot, when are you due? Oh, well that's easy. The doctor says I've got about three months left. Yep, this little guy is gonna be coming out soon. Real soon. Real soon. Is it a boy or a girl? And do you have any names picked out? Is it a boy or a girl? Do you have any idea what the baby is? Do you know if it is a filly or a colt yet? Do you know if the baby's a filly or a colt? And what are you gonna name it? Boy or girl? I dunno actually. Sandy won't let them look inside with magic. She's worried it'll affect the baby since I'm so young, so it's gonna be a surprise. What are you going to name the filly or foal? A uh, name? I, uh... How awesome would it be to name him Lightning Blitz or her Spectrum Chaser? <laughs> But I, I don't get to decide that. Sandy's giving it away for adoption. I'm not keeping it. 
so, so she says I shouldn't be thinking up names. <laughs> Screw Sandy. It's your baby. Why does she get to decide what you do with him or her? Sh she's my foster mom. She gets to decide what's best for me. I hate her. Don't you think you'll die giving birth to him or her? Because you're just a filly? Uh... Oh, yeah. I suppose that can happen, huh? But, but I'm too awesome to die. Th that wouldn't happen. <laughs> as sad and difficult as it is, it's probably for the best that you're giving him or her away. You're barely out of fiddlyhood yourself, Scoots. How would you take care of the kid once it's all said and done? I... I could have taken care of m my baby if given the chance. I hate her. <laughs> huh? This blog ripped another shred of what is left of my soul. I am once more a little more dead inside for reading this. We'll try see giving him or her away this way, because you won't be taking care of him or her doesn't mean you won't see them, unless the adopting family is too far away, of course. As for the possibility of dying, like you said, you're too awesome and I highly doubt anyone will let you die. So why not do something to try and relax? Honey, to avoid death, you can always get a C-section. If it means anything, I'm sure you would make a great mother. Leave poor Scoots alone with these questions of death goddesses above. Take no notice of them, Scoots. That would never happen, and there are great doctors who make sure everything is fine. You are a cool pony, and have been tricked, but the result is a baby, the greatest gift of all. You must take charge and fight Sandy. If you want this baby, and I mean want this baby, then fight your foster mother. She may claim to know what's best, but if you give up, you'll regret it. If it helps at all, I think you would be a great mom. That's sad. Get well, please. Will your sister ever see you again? How is she? I think you are very pretty, little one. I really like your mane. I do hope that the baby gets to be as pretty as you. Thank you guys for the support. I'm not usually this emotional, but my moods have been pretty crazy lately. That's sad. Get well, please. Will your sister ever see you again? How is she? Wait, sister? I don't have a sister. Meanwhile... Achoo! Oh, that was a big one. Excuse me. So, what do the other CMC think? And Dash and the rest of the gang? Must have come as a shock. What does Sweetie Belle and Apple Bloom think about this? You're still a Kitty Mark Crusader, after all. Do Apple Bloom and Sweetie Belle know that you're pregnant? If they do, how do they react? Have Apple Bloom and Sweetie Belle be supportive? So, I'm sure your best friends Apple Bloom and Sweetie Belle found out a while ago since you're so far along. So, I have to ask, what was their reaction? Sorry to hear this happen to you, Scoots. I gotta ask, though, how have Apple Bloom and Sweetie Belle been handling the news? What was A, B, and S, B's reaction to this? You're, You're pregnant? pregnant? Oh my gosh, when are you due? Uh, sometime in May? Apple Bloom, you're freaking me out. This is wonderful! Might be a leave for your cutie mark! Oh yeah, because I really want my special talent to be popping out babies. How does a pony get pregnant anyways? Hey mom, I know it's been a while since my last visit, but life got kind of crazy recently. I can't say the situation I'm in is one that, that you'd be proud of. I made a really bad decision, and I can't escape what I've done. Oh, sweet Celestia, is that Philly? 
She must be that class whore the kids were talking about. But I've had some really awesome friends supporting me. I didn't know what I'd do without them. Oh my gosh, I failed a kick! What do you think it'll look like? Sandy has been taking care of me. But really, I wish Rainbow Dash had taken care of me. But I also don't want to hold her back. I mean, no one wants to adopt a pregnant orphan after all. Dash really isn't any different. I miss you, Mom. Happy Mother's Day. Um, Scootaloo, dearie. I know you can't really control your mood swings right now, and I can't deny this time Diamond Tiara was asking for it. Still, I expect you to have an apology ready when we finally get her head out of Blackboard. Is that understood? Well, she deserved it. I'm not apologizing. I'm so sorry, Miss Cherley. I'll pay for all the damages. I it's all right. Money's not a problem. But Scootaloo really should apologize. Are you gonna get me out of here or not? I don't want you to apologize to Diamond Tiara. So I went ahead and covered her scooter in chocolate to make it more appetizing. Why would you? Ugh. So, what's the weirdest craving you've had so far? Chocolate! Ugh. Ugh. You have 407 followers on Tumblr. You know, 400 ponies is a lot, and that male Remo Dash was telling me that there are lots of different universes connected by Tumblr. Maybe there's some other awesome Remo Dash blogs around. Time to go Tumblr searching. It's funny. Someone thinks my Tumblr name is Pregnant Scootaloo. Oh hey, other Scootaloo blogs. Uh, that's so awesome. Uh, hey, why can't I read anything on your blog? It's like in some language I don't know. You don't seem to have a translator, do you? Aw, belly whoops! Do the other ponies rub your big pregnant belly? Not often. I don't let random ponies touch my belly. I mean, it's okay for my friends and ponies I know to touch it, if they ask first. After all, they are my friends. But the idea of strange ponies I don't know rubbing my belly? That's just creepy. Besides, I know at least two bullies who'd hit me if I gave them a chance like that. I hope you've been taking the correct aerobics lessons for a new mother, young lady. <laughs> um, aren't you a little too young to be pregnant? I admit, 13 is too young, but I hit puberty last year, so it's not like it was impossible. I just, you know, wasn't taught sex ed before this all happened. You were trying to impress a Rainbow Dash and you got pregnant? On a side note, chickens are supposed to lay eggs. Hey, Scootle, you're supposed to lay an egg. Are you sure you're just not fat? Oh, ha ha, like I've never heard that one before. You're pregnant and you still don't have a cutie mark? You're pathetic. Wow, you got pregnant and you still can't fly? Ha! You're so pathetic! Ha <laughs> ha! Mm. Have you been getting any odd cravings? Any urges to eat tons of food? If so, wanna share? No, it's my chocolate. Get your own.
Hiya, Scootaloo. I come bearing tons of cheesecakes and a quilt courtesy of my mother. Aw. Enjoy, Scootaloo. Th thank you. I... I don't know what to say. Good night, Scootaloo. This question's more for Sandy, but why do you think magic might adversely affect the foal? Huh? A question? Well, if you must know, the medical books I've been reading have said too much magical interference by ponies other than the parents has been linked to premature births, birth defects, and even stillbirths. That, combined with my phobia of magic, is why I don't let magic around scoots if I can help it. It'll be okay. Can't you try and convince Sandy that you're responsible enough to take care of the foal? I think you should be allowed to keep the baby scoots. I've heard you're giving it up for adoption. Are you really sure that's the best thing to do? I know a lot of people who've regretted that. I mean, it's your decision. Just hope it's what you really want. This is for Sandy. Don't you think you're not being fair about making Scoots give up the foal for adoption when it's born? Have you even thought about what she wants? You still gonna give the baby to adoption or are you gonna keep the baby? Cause if my girlfriend was pregnant, whether it was mine or not, she has every right to keep the baby. So should you. Why don't you keep your foal? I mean, teenage moms aren't illegal or weird or anything. Hmm. Scootaloo is not a responsible child. I've lost count of how many times I've had to bandage her up due to her carelessness. Or how many times I've had to scrub tree sap out of her mane and coat. Or how many times I've had to pay out of pocket for something she broke. And then, to top everything off, she got pregnant. I couldn't trust Scootaloo to be responsible in raising her child properly. And as much as I'd like to think she has learned about being responsible, I don't think she's ready for this. Sandy, is it really responsibility? If it really is, why don't you keep the child as your own? Or do you think you're not responsible enough? So this one is for Sandy. Do you think that although Scootaloo is a little rambunctious and careless, that maybe letting her keep the baby will give her something to focus on and a motivation to be responsible at something. Hey Sandy, I want you to ask Scoots if she could only have one of the following which one she'd choose. Her wings, her cutie mark, or get to keep the baby. That might help show that even if not seem responsible now, she wants to learn how to be, and maybe could with your help. I know you say she isn't responsible enough now, but aren't you just lecturing and scolding her when she messes up? Or are you helping her learn? Can't you give her a chance? Let you will take care of the baby for Scoot like you did to her. Good idea? You say she's not responsible enough to take care of the baby. Why not make her responsible? If you just send her kid away, it's making her even less responsible. She got pregnant, make her pony up and take care of it. While she's still carrying the kid, have her babysit some foals and force her to read parenting books. It may or may not make her more responsible, but it will give her an insight on what she'll have to do for a kid and help her decide if she's really ready for a kid. Sandy, that's not your choice. Scootaloo may not be the most responsible pony, but it's her foal. Please give her the chance to raise the foal. I know I'm just an add-on, but please hear me. I... Didn't want to bring this up, because I hate talking about it, but her being responsible isn't the only reason. Even if I wanted to adopt her baby, I couldn't afford it. I'm already working two miserable jobs just to pay my bills and take care of Scootaloo. I'm a part-time maid and a part-time waitress. And neither job utilizes my special talent. I once opened a store that did selling shoes I made myself. I got run out of business by my competition. Through debts over my failed business and the cost of living and paying for Scootaloo, I have scraps left. Not even enough to treat myself to a single night out. And I have no free time, not even a special sum pony. 
I didn't even want to be a foster parent. I... I do love Scootaloo. But... The only reason I'm caring for her... Is because I made a promise... To a very dear friend. Who is this dear friend? I'm guessing that this very dear friend was Scoots' mother? I'm sorry, Sandy. I know I promised that I would get through this. I guess I lied. May I... ask a favor of you? Of course you can! Anything! Please... Make sure Scootaloo goes to a good home. <gasps> I'm going to bed. I have work in the morning. Hold your horses there, young lady. You need to stop and think, is this safe for the baby? You're sure this is a good idea, being pregnant and all? Scootaloo, this is not a good idea. If you do this, you are only proving Sandy right on the responsibility thing. How about not going anywhere so you don't kill the baby? Scootaloo, please be careful. Even with a helmet and parachute, any sort of strenuous activity can hurt the baby. Perhaps you can earn your cutie mark in being a safe, patient filly who wants the best for her child? Scootaloo, you're pregnant for Celestia's sake! THINK OF THE CHILD! Seriously, guys? Do you guys really think I do a crusade where I know it'd hurt my baby? Does, uh, that mean we aren't doing this one? Nope. We're not doing this one. Oh, thank goodness. You are. Wait, what? Got to use her parachute. Darn. Guess we're not Kimura Crusader stun ponies then. Try photography. That's not gonna be too dangerous for ya. I don't think we're doing it right. Nonsense! The cameras love you! Mine's not working properly. How about painting, cutie mark? You seem to have the makings of an awesomely brilliant artist. You okay, Apple Bloom? Yeah. Peachy. This is gonna be my best piece yet. Kitty Mark Crusaders Extreme Bull Wrestlers. Yay! You got him right where you want him, Apple Bloom. Excuse me. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> Cutie Mark Crusader, jugglers, candy striper, nurse helpers, sandcastle builders, secretaries, friend chefs, cart painters, and or pie bakers. Alright, none of these work, but we've got plenty of ideas and the day is young. You ready for the next one, Apple Bloom? Nope, I'm done. What? But we've done maybe half of what we normally do. You okay, Apple Bloom? Yeah. It's been fun and all, but I think I'll go hang out elsewhere for a while. Hang out somewhere else? What could be more important than hanging out with us? We're here staying for cutie marks. If y'all must know, I'm gonna hang out with Diamond Tiara for a while. You're going to what? Diamond Tiara? You're gonna hang out with her instead of us? What the hell, Apple Bloom? Ugh, I know you react this way. Look, the bottom line is that Diamond Tierra has changed ever since she gained all that weight. She's not the same. So, don't you remember she's the one that's been tormenting us for years? She was one of the worst tormentors when I got pregnant. Ha, oh my gosh, what a whore. Well, I don't care. She's changed and I want to hang out with her. Apple Bloom? If you leave right now, you're out of the Crusaders. Apple Bloom, wait up! Uh. 
Well, you certainly showed your true colors today, huh? Can't believe how stupid you are. You never really cared about your friends, now did you? They certainly had no reason to care about you. After all, you've heard what the town has to say. No one cares about you. Your best friends don't care about you. Sandy certainly doesn't ever care about you. And Rainbow Dash never cared. Face it, you're pathetic. The only time any pony cared about you, even a little bit, was when you were his personal little fuck. I know you're in there. I need to talk to you. Come on, Scootaloo. Please just talk to me. What do you want? I... I came to apologize. Oh, really? Oh, well, if we're gonna act like that... Ugh. Look, I'm sorry, okay? Will you just come out? Why should I? You're just going to insult me again. Why is this time any different? I... I would never hurt you, considering both our situations. You could easily hurt me back. And about the whole whore thing, I didn't actually know you were pregnant. What do you mean you didn't know? You were the one of the ones spreading it around the most. It was a rumor. I didn't think it was true. And besides, that was almost a year ago. I'm sorry now, okay? Can you, can you at least let Apple Bloom back into her club thing? Ugh, what an awful day. I can't wait to just get home and relax. By the way, I burned the house down. Celestia willing. Huh? What's this? To Sandy Shoes of Podyville Equestria, from the desk of LT Major Warden of the Equestrian Defense Force. The Equestrian Defense Force? What, have I been drafted or something? I have a question for Sandy. Due to the fact of your interest in making footwear for ponies, I would like to make a suggestion. The military has been hunting for some pony to be able to make po comfortable footwear for combat situations for years. Considering your special talent, I would like to commission you Supplies, tools, and payments covering at least double the wages you make now. For your assistance. Please, if you are interested, respond by writing back to the dress listed above. Uh... I... I've got to reply right away. No time to waste. Uh, eh? Huh? Tumblr questions. Sandy! Sandy! Scootaloo's slender head against the mirror, shattering it! And her head is bleeding! Get her to the doctor quickly! Alright, we examined the wound. It's nothing fatal, but she lost a fair amount of blood from it. We'd like to keep her overnight to ensure her and the baby are okay. They are going to be okay, right? As far as we can tell, yes. But we just want to be sure. Alright. Thank you. Oh, hey Sandy. What brings you here? Hey, Shy. Sorry for the trouble. Oh, no trouble, Dash. You and Scootaloo are welcome to stay as long as you need. Are you really taking care of me for a few days? For the last time, kid, of course. Now let's get inside. Shy's made dinner. <sighs> what about Apple Bloom and Sweetie Belle? Hey, Scoots, do you think that maybe you're ready to let the past go and give Apple Bloom a second chance? I bet you miss her as much as she misses you. So, Scootaloo, are you gonna talk to Apple Bloom? You don't have to rush things. Talk to her when you feel ready. I hope things will work out for both of you. Uh, 
apple bloom? Oh, hi, Scoots. I, I forgot you were staying at Fluttershy's too. Well, I am. Hmm. I, I'm sorry. Huh? I, I said I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have tried to kick you out of the Crusaders. I, I was hurt by Diamond and, and I took it out on you. I, I just want to meet friends again. Huh? Hmm. You look good with your hair down, Scootaloo. Huh? My hair? Are you growing your mane out? Hey, Scootaloo, I like what you're doing with your hair. It's different. It's nice to change it up a bit sometimes. W what? I, I haven't done anything with it. I just stopped taking care of it for a while. Oh, I can help you with that. Huh? One hour later. What do you think? It, it's kind of girly. It is girly, but it's really cute. Don't worry, you can still be awesome and girly at the same time, if you want to. That hairstyle looks good on you, Scoots. Oh, sweet Celestia, Scoots, you're adorable. You look really cute with your new hairstyle. Perhaps when you're older, maybe you'd consider a date? You are so adorable. Nonsense. Girly hair is so adorable, Scoots. Totally rocking the new hair, Scoots. I love how your hair is now. Scootaloo, it makes you look even cuter. What's wrong with girly hair? I mean, you are a girl, aren't you? Love the new look. Fluttershy did an awesome job with the hair. Are you gonna keep it? W what? B but I, I don't want to be girly. I want to be awesome. Like Rainbow Dash. It's embarrassing to be girly. Who's heard of a girly pony that is awesome? A girly pony is like into makeup and dresses. Not amazing action stunts. That'd be like saying boring prissy rarity is awesome. You know what else is kind of girly? Getting pregnant. Implying being pregnant isn't the girliest possible state. Hey, Scootaloo, do you feel more girly? You know, by the pregnancy? Uh... Fine! So, I guess I am a little... girly. I can still be awesome, though. So, as He's you covered can in see, soot. The I feel a little silly right getting there. so dressed up now. And, uh, also, Seems like a pretty laid-back boss. Uh, there's the break room, and, uh... You understood everything so far? Yep, I'm ready to start working. Alright, then here's your first task. Your first job is to cut a set of royal princess-style boots in the princess's favorite design using this uncut, double A-rated emerald. Also, this is your test as to whether you get the job or not, so I wouldn't screw this up. I look forward to the results. I'm doomed. Hey, Scootaloo, are you okay? I know your story. Everyone's... And I want to say that I'm okay with you. I know it's not easy, but I know you'll be okay. What the... Are you... Leaking? So, have you started lactating yet? So how's your pregnancy been? Have you gotten really sick or been in pain at all? So how are you managing the gas? You know, with pregnancy, you're gonna get a lot more of that. Has the baby started kicking yet? So, can you feel it moving around? I'm a little shocked this hasn't been asked yet, but I'll ask it. How's your little one been treating your organs? You are all just a bunch of nosy, sick perverts. You know that? I don't show the gross or painful things happening to me because they are private and embarrassing. Do you want posts of me complaining about how my hooves feel like crazy? Or how the baby makes it hard to sleep at night? Or how I have to pee like 12 times a day? Or how I'll puke if I smell certain things? Oh, Scootaloo, are your tits leaking tea? I'm fucking pregnant! What do you think? 
Scootaloo, are you okay? I heard yelling. Water, please. Who is the daddy? Or is this a twilight experiment gone wrong? Who's the father? What? How did you get pregnant? Oh my god. Who knocked you up? It sure as hell wasn't me. Or was it? Dun dun dun! So, who's the father? Who's the dad? How'd you get pregnant? Here's a thought. Where is that flank ass douche colt that knocked you up? Hey, I'm new to your blog and I'm going through and reading, but care to explain a few things to me? One, how'd you get pregnant? And two, how'd your friends react to it? And lastly, how do you think the child would react when he or she gets old enough to learn about cutie marks and realize you don't have one? Are you guys idiots? I already answered this question. In fact, it was the first question I answered. Fine, I'll answer it again, but this is the last time I do, so listen well. His name is Ringcatcher. He's a year older than me and in Charlie's advanced class. He's got a big head on him because he's good at sports and a lot of girls swoon for him. And I hate to admit it, but I did too. Purity hit hard and I was a little boy crazy. For whatever reason, he picked me to start going out with. We dated for a bit, but he didn't actually care about me. It was all an act. He was just a part of some bet he had with his jock friends. He used my obsession with Dash to convince me sex would make me cooler. Then dumped me just because he scored. He never really cared about me. All he wanted was sex. And when he found out I was pregnant, he just laughed. He didn't care about me. No one actually cares about helping me. They're obligated to, or they're forced, or don't know what to do with me. No one cares about me. And any time I let someone get close, they just leave me. Raincatcher, Rainbow Dash, my mother, my own baby. Everyone I ever care about just leaves me. Exemplar character. Why haven't you had your full by now? It's clearly been 11 months. When do you think the baby is going to be born? Um, have your stinking full already. I'm so curious and impatient to see what it looks like. When will you deliver the full? It's been over nine months since you got pregnant. How close is the boy being born? So when's the baby due? Scootaloo, you're overdue for that baby. It's been four months. Can we get a update picture of your belly? How far along are you now? And three months go by, a baby coming. You guys really are idiots. It's the middle of March. My baby isn't due till May. I have at least a month and a half left. Sandy, you're not giving up already, are you? Did you forget what your special talent is? Just keep saying I can to yourself and do what you were born to do. I can do this. I have to do this. I just finished reading up how to cut gems, so now I can start. Sandy, try not to panic. Every pony gets nervous the first day on the job. Take a deep breath, let your talent shine, and let the chips fall where they may. Focus only on the task at hand, and I'm sure you'll do great. All right, Sandy, chin up and take your coat off. It's time to get to work and show that emerald who's boss. You're the best damn shoemaker in Equestria, and if anyone can do this, you can. You can do it, Sandy. I believe in you. Don't give up, Sandy. You can do it. You've come this far, and it seems like all the tools you need are right here. Come on, Sandy. You can do this. You're an incredibly capable shoemaker. Do it for Scooter. Do it for yourself. <sighs> huh. I did it. Third time's the charm, huh? Time for the rest. Thank you two so much for babysitting. I really appreciate it. Hey, no problem, Sandy. Anytime. It was our pleasure. So, how'd the job go? Pretty good, I think. I passed his test, at least. Turns out he had me learn gem cutting, just to prove I could. Gem cutting isn't a big part of my job. Well, I'm just happy you'll get the job. 
If you ever need a break, we're always welcome to babysit again. Again, thanks. I just hope she wasn't a bother or intrude on any personal time. Oh no, not at all. She was a little angel. Oh, I see what they do in their personal time, and they had plenty of it. <coughs> Explain the stages of pregnancy and babies. Explain, explain. How long does pony pregnancy last? It's nothing difficult. Two ponies have sex, a baby develops inside of the mare for 11 months, then she gives birth. Did you know that your foal's brain is growing by about 250,000 neurons per minute? So by the time you're done reading this message, your baby's brain will have added around 41,600 neurons to itself. The more you know. Hey, Scoots, delete this. What? Scoots, I love you, but you really ought to give poor Sandy a break. She's only ever tried to help you. She's worried sick about you now that you've hurt yourself. She's sacrificed so much for you and, well, you're being kind of ungrateful and unfair to her. Sandy, she only cares about her responsibility. Everything she does is to keep her promise to my mom. I'm still up for adoption, you know. Have been for six years. She'll be happy to get rid of me. I'm just a great giant burden to her anyway. Here's a Rainbow Dash plushie. I guess your foal will like it after he or she is born. Uh, oh, th thank you. Even though I'm a human, may I love your belly? I'd love to feel a kick. F fine, but just you and just this once. Yay! So, you're me, right? Me, but in the future? Please don't tell any pony I said this, but I'm scared. I don't know if I'm gonna be okay. But, but, but you're okay. I don't get how all these tumbler things fit together. But I mean, if you're okay, that means I'll be okay. R right? Right? Uh. <gasps> Scootaloo, there's, there's something very important I need to tell you. What is it, Mama? You know how I haven't been feeling my best and been visiting the doctors a lot? Yeah? Well, they finally figured out what's wrong today. As it turns out, I have... I have c cancer. Can sir? What's that? It's a very mean disease. It forces your body to start fighting itself. But you'll be okay, right, Mama? Uh, I'm not going down without a fight, kiddo. Don't you worry. You're the strongest Pegasus ever, Mama. I know you'll be okay. What do you mean it's getting worse? I've done everything you've told me. The treatments, the medication, the surgeries, everything! How can it still be getting worse? M miss miss Firefly, please. I have a daughter to think about. I can't just let this thing beat me. I have to be here for her. Please, calm down. We're doing everything- Well, try harder! You know... I've never truly lost anything before. Got second or third place, maybe. But never lost. You'll be okay, Mama. You, you just need rest. I'm gonna miss a lot, huh? Your first flight. Your first crush. Your graduation. You'll be there, Mama. Y you just need rest. I'm so sorry, Scootaloo lost this battle, but I never stopped fighting. You can't, either. Never give up on your dreams, okay? I won't, Mama, I promise! I... love you. Scoot. Alu. I love you too, Mama! M mama Mama! Mama! Wake up, please! Please! C cancer huh? Hey, kid. I never had 
leukemia, so I'm not you in the future. A and I can't say I guarantee you'll make it through this, because if I did, I'd just be lying to you. And it's okay to be scared. I'd actually be more worried if you weren't. This is the toughest thing you're ever going to face in your entire life. And it very well might win no matter how hard you fight. And that should scare you. But you can never just let it win, okay? No matter how hard the fight becomes, no matter what life throws at you, you have to keep fighting. The moment you give up is the moment you let the cancer win. Do not, I repeat, do not just let yourself die without a fight. Your life is worth more than you'll ever know, and you haven't died yet, kid. So keep fighting. If it wings, go down swinging. Oh, hey, kid. I don't think I've seen you around before. What are you doing out here all by yourself? Whoa. You okay, kid? What's got you down? Ugh. All right, hang tight, squirt. I don't know what the matter is, but try to cheer up, squirt. The world's a big place filled with endless opportunity. I know things may seem bad now, but things will get better. Uh huh? All right, Scootaloo. I need you to be on your best behavior tonight, all right? This is a very important dinner with my boss. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I promise to be good. Thank you. Ah, uh, there you are. Please come and relax. Please make yourself at home. Would you two like anything to drink? Wine, juice? If you have it, a red wine sounds lovely. Um, just some apple juice, I guess. Wow, Warden has a really nice house. Hi! Ah! Uh... The... I am surprised you finished so quickly. I knew so little of the gem. I'm impressed. I learned fast. Plus, the books you found were amazingly detailed, so I was able to pick upon it fast. I got word back from Candlelot on your cut, and they said, a bit rough, but with practice you make an excellent jeweler. <sighs> That's very kind, but I like making footwear. It's my passion, as it were. Yeah, he's a bit aggravating in all his talk, but he's a good stallion. It's got chocolate in it. Keeps you sane during this time. All those hormones swimming in your head like goldfish. He'll get better. Don't worry. It's worth riding out. Huh. The first thing I had to learn is the diaper doesn't go on the baby's head. <sighs> I'm just glad that the shoes came out so well. It's been too long since I've made any. I'm happy I haven't lost my touch. Just like riding a bicycle, huh? You can certainly say that. Well, it is your special talent for a reason. I really doubt that you'd be able to forget it that easily. That is true, I suppose. If I never made shoes again till I was old and gray, I'd still be able to pick it up pretty quickly. Speaking of talents, I'm not exactly sure what yours represents. Oh, mine? It looks more complicated than it actually is. The mark itself is a tesseract, basically what a cube in four dimensions would look like, existing in a plane greater than our own. It relates to my talent, which is the ability to log objects or ponies in time and space. Comically enough, I was named for the shape. So... your special talent directly controls... Time. Well, sort of. It's more like a form of suspended animation than it is control of time. Of course. Hmm? You seem disappointed. Uh, sorry. Maybe a little, but it's not directed at you, I, pr I promise. Why don't you tell me? It's just, I get a little anxious whenever control of time or time travel gets brought up. When I was younger, I did a lot of reading up on the subject. I was pretty fascinated with it, you know? Didn't have much else to do. 
so I always just kind of read and studied time travel. It was one of the most interesting subjects. But as time got older, I began to realize the truth about the subject. Time travel's not real. At least, not omnipotent time traveling. Sure, Starswill and Merlin produced spells that traveled in time, but they were snapshots that either couldn't be changed by anything or had disastrous results. And that's just it. I've come to hate time travel for that reason. No matter what time travel has loopholes or limitations, even if you were given ultimate control to travel through it freely, you can't do what you want with it. No matter what you do, you can't save everyone. You can't let everyone just live happy and fulfilling lives, letting them die of old age. No, you'll create a paradox or a rip in time and space or end the universe if you try and save even one pony's life! Uh? I... I'm sorry. Time travel is kind of a touchy subject with me. Sandy, you okay? Oh, she probably forgot to tell you like she usually does. She has a phobia to magic. Oh, my apologies. I wasn't aware. Well, well this, this dinner's, dinner's going, going great, great Sandy. Sandy. You okay there, Sandy? Anything I can do to help? So, up for pizza? Yeah, let's do that. Sandy, I'm sorry about tonight, but I do want to let you know you have the job. So report to work Monday morning at 0800 hours. Sandy, what do you say? I... I... I don't know what to say. Th thank you. I promise I'm going to do my best for you. By the way... Why did you shove that muffin in my mouth? To shut you up. Hmm? You tend to talk a lot. Now come inside. Mama needs some loving. Ma'am, yes, ma'am. Her ah! blood pressure is dangerously low. Her body's going into shock. Ah! We're losing her. Huh? Who could that be this early in the morning? Hello? How may I help you? Are you Sandy Hoops? We heard that you have an unborn foal up for adoption. Oh, you two are looking to adopt? But of course, is that surprising? A little, actually. You're the first to read Come In Person on the ad. I've only been getting well-wishing letters. Anyway, I was just about to make coffee. Please come inside. Coffee sounds wonderful, thank you. The Birthing, Part 1 So, Jet Set, Upper Crust, you two are from Canterlot? What brings you to Ponyville? I'm sure Canterlot has plenty of ponies to adopt. Well, we were originally looking in Canterlot, but... We came to the conclusion that the children were already too pampered. I don't know if you've seen Cantalot foster homes, but they are fairly well off. We got the feeling that none of the kids would see us as their parents, but more as just ponies they moved in with now. So when we went looking through other ads, we found yours. I suppose that makes sense. Is there any specific reason you're looking to adopt? 
Without going into detail, it'll be very difficult for us to conceive. So while possible, we might not for years to come, but we're ready to be parents now. I completely understand. The next thing I need to ask is, what's your financial situation looking like? Sweet Mother of Celestia, I've never seen so many zeros. Well, I can honestly say that everything checks out. I really do think you two are going to make for wonderful parents. The only other thing I'd like you to do is have you two meet Scootaloo. Scootaloo? Oh, she's the one having the baby. Is this required? No offense, but that sounds like it would complicate things. Well, I'd really appreciate it if you did. She's been worried about the baby, and I think showing her it's going to be a wonderful home would cheer her up. Well, all right. Where is the mother? Sandy! Just breathe easy, Scootaloo. You're almost ready. Oh, Celestia! Remind me to kill her and catch her when this is all over. It's okay, Scoots. Everything is okay. Just try to calm down and breathe. All right, Scootaloo, we're beginning the C-section now. Your lower body is being numbed, so you shouldn't feel a thing. See, it's almost over, Scoots. Just a few more minutes. You can do it. My baby okay? Why don't you see it for yourself? It's a healthy baby boy. Uh, hey, hey there. My little lightning bullets. Miss Hooves, if you have a moment, we have some paperwork you need to fill out. Oh, of course. I'll be right back, Scootaloo. Okay. Okay, that's enough. I draw the line at sucking on your hoof. W what? Let his real parents hold him now. But, 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 Do calm down, will you? We are his rightful parents. He was up for adoption, which means you gave up your rights as a parent. You knew it was coming to this. Why are you so surprised? We just want what is best for our son, after all. You shouldn't be selfish. This is why I don't like country folk. Always doing whatever they want. We'll be lucky if we even let you visit. Sorry about that. I'm back. Uh, hey. Is something wrong with Scootaloo? I have no idea. She's been like that for the last ten minutes. Maybe she has postpartum depression. Well, the doctor did say she'd probably be suffering from that. Said she would need rest if that's true. Anyway, Miss Hooves, about the adoption forms. Oh, of course. We'll let Scootaloo rest. Let's head back to my place to fill out the forms. Derpy? Sandy! School has gone missing! What? The Birthing, Part 2. Start searching the Northern District. We don't know where she is, and we can't afford to leave a stone unturned. I'm checking the Free Forest. She might have gone that way, and no one else is fast enough to search it. Do it. <sighs> Warden, what's going on? Sandy, I'm glad you're here. According to our intel, Scootaloo ran away from the hospital last night, took her child with her. Not only can we not find her, the hospital says her surgical wounds likely haven't had time to properly heal. She could be in serious trouble and endangering the baby at the same time. We were hoping you might know where she would have gone. She isn't at a friend's house or the clubhouse? We checked those places first, but she wasn't anywhere to be found. Then, where would she- Excuse me! Uh-huh. What does 
going on here? Where is our son? I'm sorry, Upper Crust. Scuttler ran off with the baby. I don't know what's gotten into her, but they're both in danger. What? That brat! I knew she couldn't be trusted around our baby! What? Scuttler wouldn't do anything to hurt the baby. She's just not thinking straight. We just need to find her, and right now she could be seriously hurt. Unacceptable! That hooligan is endangering the life of our son with her reckless behavior! This is absolutely outrageous! I swear to Celestia, nothing better happened to our son. If she's hurt, then it's what she deserves. Be better off dead anyway. Excuse me? Look, I understand being upset that the baby is missing, but saying Scootle would be better off dead is crossing the line. You would say that. It's not your child in danger. Even if Scootle isn't my daughter, I still care if she lives or dies. How can you stand up for a hooligan in the middle of a crime? A crime that is endangering our son! That hooligan is also the birth mother and probably doing what she thinks is best for the baby. How can you say that with a straight face? Because I've known her for years. I've practically raised her. So it's your fault she's this way? What? You have no idea what kind of life she's had. I've been doing everything I can just to keep the pieces of it from falling apart forever. If this is the result, then you'd make for an awful mother. Get, get out, out of my, of my face, face, and you, and can you forget, forget about adopting the baby. baby. What? You can't deny us our son now? Who do you think you are? I am the foster, foster mother, mother, the one who put the, the paperwork, put the paperwork for the adoption for together. The adoption I get together. to determine if you're even I get fit to, to, to adopt the baby. Fit to adopt the baby. And guess and what? Guess what? I just found I you, just found unfit, you unfit, unfit to be its parents. To be its parents. You, 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 you little. Ugh. You'll be hearing from our lawyers. Fine. Bring, Bring your, your lawyers. lawyers. I, I won't, won't let you let have, you that, have baby that baby so long, long as I'm breathing. As long as you're leaving, let me give you an express pass back to Candlelot. What? Oh, what happened here? I apologize for the magic, Sandy. Are you okay? I'm okay, Warden. Thank you. Let's focus on Scootaloo. Do you have any ideas as to where she would go? I... I don't know. She never told me about the places she would go to hide at. Excuse me. This child needs immediate medical attention. Come with me, and if you do anything funny, I promise you'll be seeing the glass end of a window. A few hours later... We've managed to get her stable, but she's not out of the woods just yet. All we can do now is treat anything more that shows up. Thank you. This... this is all my fault. I can't believe I let this happen. You were just doing what you thought was right. Don't blame yourself. But the paperwork is being processed as we speak. I'm sure by the end of the week, they'll be declared Lightning's legal guardians. Maybe I can fight for Scootaloo to keep the baby. I really hate saying this, but that won't be possible. By law, Scootaloo is in violation of kidnapping from a hospital and endangering the baby. The courts will have the baby placed into a new foster care until this is all settled and Scootaloo will be kept away by a restraining order. The nearest foster homes available are either in Canterlot or Cloudsdale as well. To even visit the baby, Scootaloo will have to pass a psychological evaluation. By then, the courts will likely find those two its rightful parents. N no Oh, Celestia, what do I do? 
I, I, I want Skrullu to be happy and the b b baby to have a good home. Can I not have both? Well, uh, I might actually know a good home that fits the criteria. What is this thing exactly? Well, it's a little hard to explain without you seeing for yourself first, but it's essentially my transportation. How I get around Equestria quickly. You're not actually part of social services, are you? I, uh, well, th that may be so, but I'm not lying to you about this home. Uh, it really will be just what you're looking for. Don't worry, kiddo. I'll make sure uh, it's a good home this time. It's... Bigger on the... Inside. Oh yeah, just a quirk of candlelight funding. A little like... An... Enchanted... Magic... Box. Whoa, hey. Are you alright? No, 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 no magic. I can't. What's this? No, honey, I'm home? Doctor, I'm disappointed in you. Shut up, Jack. Now's not the time. Whoa, first you bring a baby? Now, woman? I'm not ready for all these changes, Doc. Cut it out. Hey, Jack, that brown pony looks pretty good, don't she? I am Jack. Hi, I'm gonna throw up on you. What did you have a lab party without me too? Ugh. No motion sickness. But we're not even moving. Don't care. Ma magic. Oh, no worries, it's not magic. It's a time machine. Jack! W what? What what does he mean by time time machine? Well, exactly what it sounds like. Time in relative dimension in space, otherwise known as TARDIS. It'll take you anywhere in any time in the universe. Uh, any anywhere at any time? Yep, intergalactic parties, twenty four seven raves, dimensions made out entirely out of shrimp. You name it. Can I? Go back and prevent someone from dying? I'm sorry. We can't change the fact that they died. The only thing we can do is change the circumstances, like grant a final wish. The only regret she had in life was dying before she could see her daughter go up. I'm sorry for your loss. I know how it is to lose someone important to you. It never gets easier losing the people important to you. But you have to keep your head held up and looking to the future. It's what they would want. Thanks. Let's just focus on getting the baby to a good home, okay? Okay. Well, prepare for takeoff. Yes, yes, big new sounds. You're an adventurer. I like that. Look at you go, you're natural. Oncoming lightning, that's what they'll call you. How did you know his name? I don't think any pony told you. Uh, uh, oh, uh, well, he, he just seems to have an electrical personality, that's all. You're really natural at this. Do you have kids on your own? W well, no. I ha I've been a father in the past, though. Uh, oh. I'm... I'm sorry. We're here. Hey Twilight, I know the doctor can't have kids, but would you want to have a kid with him? Wait, what? Well, yes, I've seen what a great job you've done raising Spike. I, I know it would put Scootle at ease knowing her son is with someone that she knows and trusts. Doctor, are you crazy? He wouldn't be in any direct danger, but I am! All the victims so far have been unicorns. I can't ignore the possibility of my being a potential target. What would happen to him then? Murders? A target. Victims. You... You said this would be a safe home! 
What? I... It is. A murderer does not make a safe home for a child, Doctor! Have you lost your mind? I just... I just had to get this child away from a home that I did not deem worthy of being a good home. And now you expect me to give it to a home that is unsafe? This child means everything to Scootaloo. Everything. I can't just give it to a home that might get it killed. If anything happens to the baby, I couldn't live with myself. What were you thinking? Are you really this irresponsible? After all the help you've done to put the baby into a dangerous home? Aren't you- aren't you a good pony who came to help us? Who'd saved Scootaloo and said you would give her child a good home? Aren't you? Yes, I am. This is a good home, and I can promise that. Do you know why? Because I'll be protecting it with absolutely everything I've got. I've dealt with far worse than this, beyond anything you could imagine. And if I can't even protect the only things I care about, then what would I be? Twilight means everything to me, and I can't always be there for her, even though she's lonely. But that doesn't mean I can't keep her or the things she cares about safe. We've lost those who are precious to us. You want to hold on to what's left for their sakes, don't you? You would do anything to keep those things safe. Absolutely anything to make the world good for them. Well, that's my whole life. That's me carrying the dreams of so many lost lives. And with all of those memories and all of those hopes, I will protect them! Sandy, please let Scootaloo know that Lightning Blitz is safe and that she is welcome here anytime. He should always know that he has two mommies who both love him very much. I see. This really will be a good home. And I'll let Scootaloo know. Then, I guess there's just one thing left for me to do. So, I just choose any door I want? That's right. And once you do, whoever is wearing this locket can pass through into the light. It's a simple transmit system, really. You and Scootaloo can check in whenever you'd like. Meanwhile, I suppose I'll need to get supplies and make sure those nasty little papers have some difficulties being approved. Amazing. I'm glad I can trust you. I'll do my best. And you continue taking good care of your girl. I will. You really are a good pony, Doctor. Thank you. Finally, so awesome to see you doing some good again, Doctor. Thanks a lot for helping Scoots out today. Doctor, this is fantastic. You're helping people again. Ditsy would be so proud. Bloody brilliant, Doc. You are a good man, Doctor. Doctor, you cannot believe how proud of you we are right now.